Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, candy, cane, candy cane shot glasses. So what you're going to need is candy canes. Um, for each mode, I'm using three and a half to four candy canes. This is the final product. This is how it looks. It tastes great. I've, uh, I've used it about five, six times today. As you can see, it still has a little of that brandy in it. Uh-huh. Uh, let me go and finish that off for you guys. Tastes great. This is great for the holidays. Great for gifts. Um, it's great for all things. So what you want to do is you want to get your candy canes. And you're also going to need your mold. You're going to need your, uh, you're going to need a hammer or some kind of tool because you got to beat the mess out of these candy canes because you can't put them in there whole. So what you want to do is peel your candy canes. Um, I'm using wax paper for mine right now. I'm going to use some wax paper. Uh, you can use plastic, uh, whatever you, whatever you uh, feel like using. This is what I'm using for now. And what you want to do, you peel your candy canes and uh, you put them right now. I'm only going to peel one. I, uh, I already got one here. As you can see, this is how I beat this up. This is, you want to be, uh, make it a little smaller than this. So, but we'll show you. So what you want to do, you want to get your candy cane. Usually for each mold, you want to use two to three. So wrap it up. Wrap your towel or rag around it. And you get your hammer. You beat the mess out of it. You beat that thing like it stole something from it. And this helps you get off a lot of frustration. When you're mad at somebody, you just beat it, beat it, beat it. So what I'm doing here, I'm trying to beat it up. Get it real fine. Let's see how far did I get it. I didn't do nothing. Do you see that? I didn't beat, I didn't hit everything but what I needed to hit. So I'm going to beat it up again. I see where it is. Ah, I got it now. So you want to beat it up, like I said. You get it real fun. There we go. I didn't beat them. I didn't beat that thing so much. My count is going to need uh, to be redone. So as you can see, my, part, my, my wax paper is kind of uh, all beat up also. So you want to take that. As you can see, as I was beating that, the first one I did exposed the top. So what you want to do is fill that up and get it back run where it needs to be. Um, and so you want to fill all these things up like this. And you fill each one of them up. And what you do, you put them in the oven at 350. Now remember, preheat your oven. So you want to put it in there at uh, 350. And you let it sit in there for, check it every two to three minutes. But you want to let it sit in there for about 10 minutes. It depends on uh, how, you got to check on how the candy canes are melting. Sometimes they melt fast. Sometimes they, you know, it's just, I don't know. I, I ain't no scientist. I'm a just drink maker. I'm a drink maker and a drink lover. So what you do is, like I said, you put them in there at 350. Once they melt it, you want to get a spoon. Because what happens sometimes is the, uh, the candy canes melt down and they expose uh, the middle of your molds. So your glass will be too thin. So what you want to do is have more candy canes already crushed up. And so you pull your mold back out of the oven and you refill it back up. Then you set it back in there and then you let that part melt. Now, once it's melted, you take a spoon and you smooth it out. Um, spoons are sometimes a little tricky. I don't know what kind of other tool you would use. Um, maybe a butter knife. Get a butter knife and you want to just smoothen it and you want to get that whole top just to go flat 
And once you get that to go uh, and it's melted, you take it out, you set it on your countertops um, for about, I don't know, let it cool off maybe 20 minutes. Once it cools off, you know, um, see, once it cools off, you want to uh, put it in the freezer. You put it in the freezer for two to three hours. Once you put it in the freezer, it gets really solid hard. You can take it out the freezer and use it then. I don't. Because after that, what I found is uh, it, it's really brittle if it comes right out the freezer and it breaks up. So what I do is after I take it out the freezer, I put it in the refrigerator, and I let it sit another two hours. It can only be minutes. It's up to you. Once you put it in the refrigerator, it's not frozen anymore. You can peel it out of your mold. Simple. You can start pouring your shots. It's really not sticky until you pour your alcohol in. This is a great Christmas gift. This is a great thing for parties. Uh, enjoy yourself. Happy holidays. If you have another video that you want me to shoot uh, on something, you let me know. I'm going to make videos about everything. I'm a can man. I can do anything. I'm going to shoot videos about how to fix cars. I'm going to shoot videos on how to do streaming devices. I'm shooting these videos to make your everyday life better. So, if you have an idea, let me know. Subscribe to my channel. The button's going to be down there. Click the like button. Share it as much as you can. We're going to make this happen. I'm going to even teach you how to train dogs. Whatever you want to learn how to do, let me know. Unlock phones. Man, I'm a, I'm a, like I said, I'm an all-around Handy can me. Jack of all trades, master of all. Enjoy your day. Happy holidays. Black Tron. I'm out.